Hey guys, this is BT Thomas the Right. Here we're going to do our nautical nonsense and sponge body. Tomorrow's DVD review will be the last one of the 28 consecutives. First, it has the bonus features: 10 sponge squares up the episode, then the lens from some. Spongebob, backstage fans, those Spongebob secrets. Okay, so here are the ten episodes. Ripped Pants. Spongebob tries to impress Sandy at Muscle Beach and accidentally whips his pants. He's embarrassed until he realises the crowd thought it was a joke he did on purpose. His ripped pants are a hit, but the joke gets old. Fast. SB129. Squidward flees to the grassy crab in search of quiet and winds up frozen in the freezer. When he finally falls, he finds himself far into the future and wondering how to go back. Texas. Sandy's blue. Sandy's blue. Seems she's homesick for good old Texas and plans to go back home. SpongeBob's determined to cheer her up by bringing a a bit of Texas goes right to the key bottom. Graveyard shift. The Crossy Crab is now open 24 hours a day. On their first long night shift, Squibber tries to scare SpongeBob with a tail of the hash slinging slasher. And, so, and as things begin to go dump in the night, Squibber starts believing his own been twisted tail. Something smells. SpongeBob's got terrible sea onion ice, cr ice cream breath, yet he can't understand why he's being avoided. Patrick says it's a beauty issue, so then Patrick eats sea onion. Sea onion. Bon bombs. And people are very keen, so he's going to take up the ugly from Spongebob. Jellyfishing. When Spongebob and Patrick find Squidward is recovering from a bicycle accident, they take him jellyfishing so that he can have his best day ever. Unfortunately, their good intentions wreck havoc from Squidward's recovery efforts. Dying for pie. Squidward accidentally lets Spongebob eat an exploding pie. To alleviate his guilt, Squidward resolves to make Spongebob's few remaining hours be enjoyable. And that makes Squidward more miserable than ever. Wormy. Sandy's taken a trip and put Spongebob and Patrick in charge of her pet caterpillar. When the caterpillar turns into a butterfly of a night, Spongebob and Patrick are convinced that this new creature uh, ate Wormy and it's now after them and the rest of Bikini Bottom. Fun! Spongebob is convinced Prince is so evil because he's lonely. So he befriends the little guy. Unfortunately, everyone sees that Plankton is using SpongeBob to get to the secret Grabby Pay recipe. It's up to Mr. Krabs to reveal Plankton's plot to SpongeBob. And finally, Club SpongeBob. SpongeBob and Patrick Scrubhouse has no one for Squidward. Literally. But Squibber forces his way in propelling the clubhouse into the middle of nowhere. Hopelessly lost, Squibber begins to panic, but Spongebob and Patrick trust in the magic conch shell. And finally, here's the disc. So I'll see you tomorrow for the last DVD review. It's going to be... Karate Island. See ya.